The future of the world's oceans, boy, if you had asked me when I first started studying them, I would have thought limitless. It can only get better. New technologies were being developed. Scuba diving was in its infancy. It was such an exciting time. Now that we've developed all these technologies, now that we have plundered the oceans so exhaustively, I, I, I can't predict what will be left for the next generation. I'm fearful for the future of the oceans. It's a time for great concern. I think the future for the oceans overall is a fairly grim one because we're not taking care of the oceans. We don't know what the future of the ocean is, but it's pretty scary and pretty ominous. There are so many different assaults that humans cause in the oceans with overfishing, pollution, runoff from the land, movement of exotic species, oil spills, dredging, ocean circulation disruption, overexploitation of species, habitat destruction, coral bleaching. Climate change is going to ha may have profound impacts on the ocean marine life. And um, we just don't know how bad it's going to be, but it's, it's probably the most serious issue that we face. I'm not hopeful about the future of the oceans, but I'm optimistic that with the next generation of children that visit this museum, children that visit the ocean, children that read, children that care, they won't let us get away with what we've been doing for the last two generations. I'm choosing to believe the future of the oceans is all good. Uh, I want to believe that the problems are not insurmountable, that we can come together and figure out a way to deal with them and stick to it. And uh, in a large extent, I have to think that way because I have a seven-year-old daughter and I want her to have the oceans. The future of our oceans is certainly in our hands. And, and really now is the time to decide what we want the future of the oceans to be. It's not too late. No matter who you are or where you're living, you have the ability to make that change. We've never had more information about how to, how to improve the oceans, about how to solve some of these problems. It's a challenging time, but it's an exciting time. We can all help if we do just a little bit, and all together they'll add up and make a big impact. I have to trust that there are people around the world, just like me, doing the best that they can to engage and educate people in their communities about the ocean's health. And I can grab and shake people and say, look, pay attention, it doesn't have to be this way. So there is that, that hopefulness that I, I try to carry in and uh, keep in my heart. It's worth saving.